Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Video Devo. I am in my office and I'm standing with Valerie Webb. Earlier this week, our worship service mm -hmm. planning team, which Valerie leads, was having our meeting. We were talking about the services for the weekend. And we were talking, because we talked last weekend about kindness, we were talking about acts of kindness we've experienced in our own lives that actually changed us. Mm -hmm. And Val, you were talking about something that I actually don't know if I'd ever heard this story really? before about your childhood. If yes. I'd heard it before, I forgot. Yeah. Um, but briefly share it with everybody because okay. I think it's amazing and very touching. Well, when I was a young child, we lived in Seattle, Washington, and for a brief period of time, we moved to Michigan. My parents wanted to help out in a home for what they used to call juvenile delinquents, and we had <laughs> we had 12 kids living with us, and then my sister and I and my parents. Wow. And it was quite an event. Uh, Long story short, we left Seattle, literally sold everything. We left with clothes, but all my toys, all my parents' household stuff, the tools, All the furniture was all sold. All sold. So you and moved we, from Seattle to go to Michigan to do this to ministry. To do this. Okay. And we sold everything, went with a suitcase of clothes, and off we went to Michigan. As you can imagine, the odds were stacked against us. It went horribly sideways, and after a few years, we were headed back. Uh, broken really by the experience and so the friends that we had in Seattle at our church helped my parents find a place to rent and I will never forget when we pulled back into town they had rented this house for us and we drove up or an apartment we drove up the hill to the apartment and we opened the door to the apartment and I don't it, it was the weirdest experience because as a kid I remember my mom's emotions and I remember her gasping and I remember looking in the corner and seeing my toys. And of course now I was two years older and the toys, but they looked familiar. And this group of people who had bought almost all our furniture, our toys, our household goods, gave it all back and set up the apartment wow. that they had helped us rent. And so, you know, I know churches can be rough. I know Christians can be rough, but you know, I am so hopeful about the church because I have seen the best of the church. And I believe when the church acts like that, when the church shows that kind of love and kindness mm. and care, mm. it imprints on somebody. And it imprinted on me in a way that drives what I do today even mm. Mm. now, that motivates me at Twin Lakes because I think we can do that multiple times over in our community so, as we learn kindness. I mean, let me just get this straight. The same exact people who bought all your stuff. Yes. Clearly, somebody was the ringleader and approached yes. them all, tracked them all down, and yes. said, "You know what? Yeah. We're going to give all the stuff that we bought. We're going to find out where it all went. We're going to give it all back yep. to the webs. Yep. Free of charge. Yep. I mean, that's remarkable. It's amazing. I actually wrote down what you told us in staff because I thought this was so interesting. <laughs> you said that's why I now think of rude Christians <laughs> as the exception, not yeah. the rule. Yep. Because that act of kindness established the baseline for me yeah. about what Christians do. Yeah. And that is powerful it's, stuff. It changed my life. Yeah. It and really and you have a chance. We have a chance yes. to change people's lives through our not-so-random acts of kindness. Yes. I want to encourage you to look at the back of the sermon notes from this last weekend. If you weren't there, you can download them on our website. There's all kinds of not-so-random acts of kindness you can dig into. There's so many wonderful opportunities, including our Aptos High School gift bags, including our mm -hmm. Second Harvest Food Drive, among many other verses about kindness that I could read to you today. I love Proverbs 14:31. It says, whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker, mm -hmm. but whoever is kind to the needy honors God. Mm -hmm. You want to honor God, you want to worship God, look for a way to be kind to somebody who is needy. Yes. Val, thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us. Go and do some not-so-random acts of kindness today.